Hey besties, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a book shopping vlog. I honestly should have filmed this intro when I was actually going shopping, but I forgot to do it. So Atlanta recently got a Kino Kunya, which is a Japanese bookstore that has a lot of manga. It also has a lot of Chinese novels and I don't know, just a lot of different things. There's a lot of gifts in there too to look at. It was a really, really cute store and I had a great time. I don't currently read a lot of manga, but when I was a teenager, I fucked some manga up. I watched anime, I read manga, I was all about it. And so it really took me down memory lane and obviously Katie loves reading manga so it was fun to go around with her because she could like point at all the different series and tell me which ones were good so without further ado I will insert the clips of us being at the bookstore now and then we'll come back with a book haul filmception <laughs> this is our song now and it love me tender <laughs> Do I need an apron with dogs on it? I mean, it wouldn't hurt your life. I got. I actually didn't get that many things. It's just a big bag, but I only have three things in here. So uh, that's very loud. Sorry. The first thing that I got is this bind up of fruits baskets. I believe this is the first two mangas. Something you gotta know about me is that when I was younger, I loved fruits baskets. I don't know why, but kuna I always mispronounce it. Kina kuya. Okay. I literally just said it correctly and I've already forgotten how to say it. Also, what's annoying is they wrapped it in plastic, but they still put the sticker, the price tag on the actual book. That's really annoying to me. Put it on the sticker if you're gonna wrap it in plastic. What the fuck? Anyway, I think this is a bind up of the first two mangas in the series. And something you have to know about me is that I loved Fruits Baskets when I was younger. I ate this up. I always wish that they had finished the original anime. I know that they remade the anime a couple of years ago, but I never went back and watched it. But I was just really excited to see this because it made me feel very nostalgic and Again, I just loved this series when I was younger. I think most people have heard of Fruits Basket, so you already might know what this is about, but we'll still go over it. Basically, it's about this girl named Toru, and I don't really remember exactly what happened to her, but she has to move into a tent, and she, you know, she's just trying to make the most of life, but something happened and she doesn't have a house anymore. And so then she ends up stumbling upon the Soma clan, which is a family that's like hiding a secret. And so they offer to take her in, and when she starts staying with them, she realizes that whenever one of the people is embraced by the opposite sex. They turn into an animal of the Chinese Zodiac. I actually never finished reading the manga series. And like I mentioned, I never watched the updated anime. So I don't really know how the series ends, but I'd love to get into it again. And I just thought this was so cute. Even if I only end up buying this first bind up, I just think the spine is cute and I love it. I've always been a huge Kyo fan. There's a little bit of a love triangle in here and Kyo was my boy. I always loved him. So it would be interesting to reread this as an adult and see what I think. But I remember this used to make me giggle and I always thought it was so cute. And Toru is just honestly one of the sweetest main characters you could ever read about. I also love that there's a little bit of color art in here and there's like different like character drawings and I don't know, it's so cute. So I'm excited to have this. Part of me is like, should I get back into a manga era? But then the other part of me is like, that would be very expensive because every single manga costs a lot of money. Like this was literally $20 for just two of them. The next thing I have is actually a book that's translated from Chinese. I have seen this on a couple of people's booktube channels, specifically Bella from Throne of Pages has talked about it. And I can't remember who else. There was a couple of other people that I saw talk about this. And so I just thought I would give it a shot because I've been debating buying it for a while. Like I put it in my shopping cart a few times online and I've never ended up buying it. And so I just decided to bite the bullet today because when I'm in a bookstore is when my consumerism really comes out and suddenly I'm okay with spending $20 on a book. And so that book is Heaven's Official Blessings. From my knowledge, I'm not educated on this topic at all. I think this is a, I don't remember how to pronounce it, a, a, 
novel. I will spell it on the screen and you can let me know down below if I'm pronouncing that right. Fun fact about me, I actually took a semester of Mandarin Chinese in college because I thought that I was going to major in it. I don't know, I got really convinced that I was going to learn Chinese and then I took one semester and the tones really took me out and so I never finished. Um, I don't know if this was translated from Mandarin or Cantonese but I have heard that that's the type of novel that this is. One of my patrons Fari has talked about this type of novel a couple of times and they recommended that I pick this up to start in the genre but basically it's Chinese high fantasy. Like this has a very high rating on Goodreads and I, I think it's like one of those books that like a lot of people really love. And another thing I love is that there's butterflies all over it. And the copy itself is so beautiful. I think there might be art in here as well. I'm always down for a book with art in it. And I'll say I just really love a butterfly motif. Again, I have no idea what this is about. So we're gonna read the back and let me just say, I'm gonna try my best with these names, but my knowledge of Chinese is limited to that one semester I took in college. And I don't remember much. The only thing I can remember how to say is, please don't judge my tones if you actually speak Mandarin. But what I remember is, Wo Shi Huan Xiao Go, which means I like little dogs. I also remember Wo Baba Bu Ma. My dad is not busy. So if you speak Chinese, you probably listen to that and you're like, that's literally not what you said because you got your tones wrong, but that's fine. Anyway, let's read the back. It says, a god fallen, a ghost risen, born the crown prince of a prosperous kingdom, Jie Lian, maybe, <laughs> was renowned for his beauty, strength, and purity. His years of dedicated study and noble deeds allowed him to ascend to godhood. But those who rise may also fall and fall he does, cast from the heavens and banished to the world below. 800 years after his mortal life, Jie Lian, again, questionable pronunciation there. I'm trying my best. Has ascended to godhood for the third time. I guess you can do that multiple times? I don't know. Angering most of the gods in the process. My question is, if you rise to godhood, do you like lose your godhood and then he rises again? Or is it like he rose to godhood and then he rose to another level of godhood and now he's like the highest god and that's why the other gods are jealous? This is giving that person that like is watching a movie with you that's also never watched the movie and they keep asking questions. That's me right now. Cause I could just read the book to find out, but I'm asking you guys as if you know. I mean, some of you might know if you've read this. To repay his debts, he is sent to the mortal realm to hunt down violent ghosts and troublemaking spirits who prey on the living. Along his travels, he meets the fascinating and brilliant San Long, a young man whom he feels an instant connection. Yet San Long is clearly more than he appears. What mysteries lie behind that carefree smile? Another fun thing about this is that this is BL. This is MLM, like boys loving boys. So I'm excited to pick this up. And again, I just, I love all the butterflies. I am a hoe for a butterfly. I'm never having children, but I would have to say butterflies are my mom animal. If you're not familiar with that term, I learned it on TikTok. Basically, a lot of moms have an animal that they really resonate with and they decorate their houses with. And so mine is butterflies. My stepmoms is cows. My boyfriend's moms is llamas. A lot of moms have a mom animal. Like maybe they decorate their bathroom with dolphins. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Your mom might have a mom animal. I don't really have a lot of expectations for this because I don't know much about it except the fact that one of my patrons loves these types of books and that I know that this is very popular. It has like thousands and thousands of reviews on Goodreads. So if you've read this and you liked it, please let me know down below. I do know that some people don't love the official translation as much as the fan translation. Apparently when this was originally written, there wasn't like an official book like this. And so someone translated it into English. And so some people prefer that version over this version. That's the lore that I know about it, but who can know? I don't know. I will read this and I'll let you know if it's good. And the last thing that I bought is actually not a book. It's just like a little like kitschy thing. They have a lot of stuffed animals and gifts and things there that are so cute. And so I was really excited to buy this. And it's this little thing for our cats. It's gonna make them look like little bunnies. So I was just really excited. And so the next shot you're gonna see is me putting this on both cats. Oh. No, Bruce, you gotta look like a bunny. You just get your little whiskers out of there. I don't think he likes it. <laughs> Honestly? Oh, she's so cute. Wait, whoa, whoa. Oh. <laughs> you sleepy? That brings me to the end of this book shopping vlog. Be sure to check out Katie Colson's channel. She also will be posting a vlog of this trip that we took. I don't know when that's gonna go up on her channel. I think maybe in a week or two, a couple weeks. I don't know. Katie, you let us know in the comments. And it was just a really fun trip. I love hanging out with Katie. It was just a great time. And I definitely will go back to this bookstore. I think my boyfriend wants to go because he really loves like anime and manga and whatnot. So I'll definitely go back there sometime soon and maybe I'll take you guys along. If you've made it to the end of this video and you enjoyed it, feel free to use the bunny emoji in your comment to honor my cats looking like little bunnies. And I just thank you all so much for watching. You're all beautiful. Have a nice day.